This is a big, big deal. This will affect you. This will also affect the price of gold, the price of silver, the price of precious metal mining stocks. China and Brazil agree to ditch, to dump, to get rid of the U.S. dollar. We're going to dive into this and I'm going to show you, you know, you might be thinking like, oh, big deal, China and Brazil getting rid of the dollar. It is a big, big deal. It's kind of like, and I don't know if this is the right way to say it, and I'm totally against cruelty to any animals, but that old saying, like boiling a frog in water, like they don't realize how bad it is until it's too late. And are we in a similar situation right now when it comes to the U.S. dollar, the dominance that we've exerted over the world for a number of years? Guys, I know no other way to say this to you, but things are changing like never ever before. You may not even realize right now how lucky you are if you're invested in silver. Maybe you're invested in gold. Maybe you're invested in precious metal mining stocks. Let's talk about it right now. I think it's time I remind you that you, yes you, are special and unique. Right now, you've given me the honor of joining me here in the basement from somewhere in the wild, wild world. Hey, there's a lot going on. We need each other. We need to stick together. We're the analytical types, right? We like to uh, see the forest through the trees dive into the deep end, it's not always easy being analytical and looking at these tough subjects. So I really appreciate you joining me here in the basement. We're gonna make it, we're gonna stick together, and right now, we're gonna get back to the video. Have you heard about the new rage? De-dollarization. I don't think they've even really figured out how to spell it yet, but nonetheless, the major news networks, CNN, yes, the Children's News Network, and even Fox have run stories about de-dollarization. We have Reuters, we have Bloomberg. Guys, it is starting to get recognized even in the mainstream media. And if the mainstream media, think about this. Take a step back for a second. Take a deep breath. Think about this. If the mainstream media is covering this de-dollarization story, the fact that the world is moving away from the dollar, that's not a positive story. You know it's real and it's happening. The frog is getting close to the boiling point. Do you know what happens when the dollar goes down in value? That's right, real assets, silver and gold included, go up in value. And I don't know about you, but up until about the last six months, maybe year, I never really paid much attention to how dominant the U.S. dollar was in the world and how America, the United States, had benefited over the last decades because of the dominance of the U.S. dollar used in the trade of oil, that's called the petrodollar, used in all trade throughout the world, the dollar dominated. A lot of foreign debt is denominated in dollars. That allowed the United States government to run these huge deficits because all those dollars had to go somewhere and they bought U.S. treasuries, but things are changing like never before. Maybe that's why we're seeing such solid support for the price of gold, for the price of silver. This is all happening right in front of our very eyes, and it's not front page news in the mainstream media in the United States of America, because you know why? It's not good news for the United States of America, but I know you. You don't want to put your head in the sand. You want to know what's really going on. So when we got this announcement yesterday, that China and Brazil have agreed to dump, ditch, jettison, whatever you want to say, the U.S. dollar, that's a big deal. Because you know why? China's economy is huge, catching up with the United States and almost there. And Brazil, well, it's the largest economy in Latin America. First Mining Gold is a development company advancing two of the largest gold projects in Canada. 
Spring Pole in Ontario and Du Parquet, located in Quebec, each already has 5 million ounces of gold reserves, but exploration initiatives are underway at both projects to find even more gold. First Mining is well financed, has zero debt, and owns an interest in four additional Canadian gold development projects. You might find it very interesting that the Chinese and the Brazilians held high level talks to come up with this arrangement in China. And I've mentioned this before, I don't know how you feel about this, but it feels like China, all of these BRICS countries, they're always meeting with each other, the top leaders and coming up with these new arrangements. They are cooperating. And do we see anyone, anyone coming to the United States unless they're coming here to beg for handouts to use in a conflict they're having? I'm starting to get a little concerned that the United States seems so isolated and the rest of the world is working together and ditching the dollar. In this arrangement between Brazil and China, it is significant because Brazil and China are huge trading partners to the tune of $150 billion per year. So does it make sense to you that that means there's $150 billion less dollars that are going to be needed outside of the United States? And where do you think that money is going to come? it's going to come back to the United States. And on the surface, that may seem like a good thing, but the reality is that's highly inflationary. That dilutes the value of the current dollars here. But you know what that means for the gold price and the silver price? That means higher price because that's why we hold silver and gold and precious metal mining stocks because they hold their value over time in an environment of a depreciating, diluting currency. And it gets a little scary for us when we realize this isn't just going on between China and Brazil. No, it's going on between China and Russia. It's going on between China and Saudi Arabia. China is exerting their new found status in the world as a leading economic power. And guys, that's not good for the US dollar. But I'll say it one final time, listen just one more time, that's why we're in silver and gold. And I know you are smart and analytical, so while you're looking at the forest through the trees, we have a brand new tree, and that's this arrangement between China and Brazil. Things are going to continue to get interesting. I want you to know I'm going to be here for you through it all. And until next time, I want you, yes, you, to be well.